The following is an overview of the Black Belt Ribbon add-in, developed by Professor Elliot Bendeley. While the add-in will regularly be updated, this presentation provides representative highlights of its standard functionality. The most recent publicly available version of this add-in can be found at www.excelblackbelt.com. After downloading your copy of the Black Belt Ribbon, you can install the add-in by going to File, Options, Add-ins, and at the bottom Manage Add-ins. You'll get a listing of available add-ins, and will probably have to browse for the one that you have downloaded. Select the file and it should appear in the new list. Make sure it is checked, and hit OK. Click Enable if presented with a screen notification regarding data connection. Now the ribbon will appear along with the others in Excel. The first three tools in the ribbon provide additional information and options for interacting with the add-in tools. The first is a site link. Clicking on the Black Belt button opens up the public Black Belt website where you can find resources relating to the add-in, its updates and other content referenced by the associated textbook. The Update Shortcut button in the ribbon enables the Control shift key shortcuts to various ribbon tools. Default assignments are illustrated in the Sample Data Workbook. These shortcut specifications are stored as defaults and can be modified via a defaults sheet. The default settings button creates that hidden default sheet where these shortcut keys can be specified and where default values for the various add-in tools can also be saved and edited manually if so desired. You can always override defaults via the various tool interfaces, and can save new defaults to each of your workbooks through these tool interfaces as well. Click Plot is the first tool we will be looking at within the Black Belt ribbon. The tool allows point and click mapping of coordinates associated with imported images. We'll demonstrate its use through the click test sheet of the sample data workbook, where we have a pasted image to work with. Selecting the Click Plot tool on the ribbon opens up the interface, immediately allowing you to specify how large of a transparent plot area you want to initialize. This decision is typically based on the size of the image since the intent is for the plot area to overlay your image. Once you select creation of the transparent plot area, your next task is to make sure the axes of your overlaying plot correspond with the desired boundaries of the image. Here's another chance to make sure things line up the way you want. The Start Clicks button activates a calibration process where you select the upper right and lower left corners of the plot area, designated by Xboxes. Once you've done this, you can start clicking on points within your plot area that correspond to relevant points in the underlying image. Each point is recorded in relative coordinates, and as you continue to click you will see these coordinates appearing in your spreadsheet cells. Stopping the click process then makes available the data that has been recorded to the spreadsheet. As you'll find the plot you've created is now nothing more than a line connected scatter plot. The underlying image that you've used can be deleted this point if desired without impacting these coordinates or the plot.
the read-write G tool makes available the ability to both write to Google Forms as well as read from Google Sheets, or any other online source of data, including web pages housing traded stock, weather and sports related data, just to list a few examples. In this demonstration we are writing to the contents of a Google Form, and reading back from its associated sheet. The process of determining the field keys for that form is detailed in the textbook, but if you use default settings you can post data from a selection of Excel worksheet cells to a sample Google Form, and its online sheet. An internet connection will be required for this to function. The read from web settings are currently pointing to the form's linked Google Sheet as well, so that once new data is posted to this Google Form and Sheet, by whoever posts such data, the read functionality will retrieve the form posted data to anyone who might want to import it into their Excel workbook. The heat mapper add-in allows for the creation of customized heat maps with features that might not be otherwise available by standard packages for the visualization of data. An internet connection is needed here as well, since the library of image sets is hosted online. The initial process can be activated for many sheet and does not require pre-existing data to base the image off of, though you will probably have some data in mind, and can substitute that data later. To begin. After clicking on the Heat Mapper tool, select the appropriate library, and shape set, along with the specific shape components you want created and available. You can choose the scale and initial color spectrum to be applied as well. The tool is capable of creating a new sheet for the placement of these imported images as part of its graphing process. On that sheet the selected images will be generated along with sample data values across the scale specified. One of the many new user-defined functions that come with the Black Belt Ribbon add-in is the Adjust Colors function. This function allows changes to shape values to become represented visually across your shape set. Entering the function within any blank cell, and specifying the top left cell in which your shape data is housed, along with additional parameters to trigger refreshes of the heat mapping will enable dynamic visualization of data changes. Changing the color of individual shape labels among the spreadsheet cells also allows customized color highlighting. The image extract tool is available if you prefer to create your own shape set to share with others. You can do so by drawing polygons, or importing pre-drawn polygons from other packages such as Word. You may rename these in advance for future clarity. When done, select the entire set of new shapes and the image extract tool, making sure to provide a file destination that exists on your computer. The tool will then create a file that can be posted online. The file will contain all individual shapes, their names and relative coordinates. If submitted to Professor Benderly, and deemed appropriate, it will be included the global library of shape sets available to the broader community of Black Belt Ribbon users. The Confidence Ellipse tool provides a two-dimensional visualization of the area within which a certain percentage of observations are expected to be observed. It assumes that the two variables in question can be represented by a bivariate normal distribution, around a central pair of average coordinates. If your data generally follows the bell curve, and you know the means, standard deviations and the correlation of two variables, the tool will generate these ellipses for as many subsets of data, and as many levels of percentage confidence as you desire. You have the option to specify labels, color schema, and whether the visual appears simply as a perimeter, or stacked with a filled area. 
as with other visualization tools, in the black belt ribbon. You can also specify whether the resulting graphic is presented as a fixed image or editable, allowing color and axis editing, as well as deletion of plot series. The ternary plot tool similarly provides graphical capabilities that do not come standard to the spreadsheet application. If you have three variables which are interdependent, such that they add up to a meaningful sum, such as a budget, or are each percentages of a common whole, the graphical results will prove most meaningful. Labels can also be specified as can a fourth numeric dimension captured by the size of the plot points. Point colors and the general aspect of the point representations can be edited as well. The system tools suite in the black belt ribbon includes two resources in a single multi-page user form. The relative impact fishbone diagram is an Ishikawa diagram that allows you to superimpose trends, lags and risk levels regarding presumed cause and effect. The system ring tool allows you to take data in the former symmetrical matrix of forward and backward flow, and diagonal of current system stock levels, and plot the associated data and labels to emphasize go dependencies and feedback mechanisms across various factors in the system. The simple cluster tool does exactly what it sounds like, providing you with a limited number of options to cluster a set of data, represented in as many dimensions as you may have, into as many groups as you may desire. The clustering process will continue to run until a limit is reached, at which point the tool will ask if you wish to stop or continue the refinement of the clusters derived. Once complete, you will be presented with a visual of the clustering along with numerical details of the final determinations. The Solver Shadow tool allows you to take an optimization problem that you've designed for use with Solver, and document its various steps as it proceeds seek out a solution. You'll have to specify where the objective and utility variables are located as well as where the initial solution and the criteria for recording is located. That criteria cell should contain a conditional statement, typically relating to your set of constraints, and true or false result. You can choose to exclude non-feasible steps, or solutions that do not represent improvements from the record. For first time use in a workbook, a few additional installation steps, are required for shadowing to take place successfully. As described in the textbook. However, once complete, Shadow will provide visibility into the solutions solver encounters over time.